Here is raw sandpaper. Uh, now, of course, this one was used. I've got clean sheets at the bottom, and I don't just feel like digging out right now, but this one was laying close up to where I could reach it. All stuffed in the box. Sprays, primers, great for models. Um, you need something for the paint to adhere to. <coughs> you got to prime it. Um, otherwise, the stuff's just going to chip off, flake off. Um, I've got various cans of this stuff. Let's see if I can get in here without causing a real mess. Uh, see, I've got tons of different kinds of paints. This whole cabinet is full of it. Um, cutting board for doing my, my exacto cuts. Instead of messing up my table, I can put the board down, the cutting mat. You don't need it, but it's nice to have. Um, there was all those brushes that I was talking about that I got for a few dollars. Tacky glue, um, turpentine, Elmer's glue. This isn't even actually Elmer's glue. This is a generic. Here's wood glue. Various glues. Um, there's a spray glue back here. You can see there's more of those Elmer's. I found them on sale. Grabbed a bunch up. Um, there's flock for various projects. There's some stones that I've dyed into different colors. Uh, I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Um, here is some paints. Um, this is liquid water for putting water on my projects. Telephone line, the wire that's inside of your phone. Great, great asset. You can make a lot of stuff out of this. Decals, dry transfers. Um, there was something. This is a little brass. Can be used as bullets. These are actually meant to be shells. Um, like a mortar round. Um, yeah, I mean, it's amazing what you'll find in one of these boxes. Here is my bits box that I was telling you about that has all the little pieces and and stuff. Um, and you can see and there was a piece of a model. I threw it in here when I was done. Um, here's some little laser rods from a, a model. Here's a model that I never built. Pieces and parts. <clears throat> this whole drawer is nothing but that. Um, I don't know what that was to, <clears throat> but uh, I think that was to a model that I was doing. I think it was an engine on a jet, but who knows what I can make out of that. Um, maybe I want to make a little, um, for like basement windows on a house. You know, you have the little metal things that set out in front side of a window. And usually have rocks on the bottom. You know, I can cut that into a couple pieces and make two or three of them. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on. Pieces and parts. You never know when some of this stuff's going to come in handy. Now, my, my, my tool area is a disaster area. I need to go through this and really clean it up. But, this is how a normal person works. Ah, that saw I was telling you about a little bit ago when I set a blade and a handle and yeah, that's a saw. Yeah, well, there's your saw. Um, it's not a coping saw. I don't even remember what they call this. Um, but it's a saw. And for cutting parts. Um, here's my stand for my hot glue gun so I don't get hot glue all over my table. Um, there's an extra blade for that saw. Real good. See, this should be on a safety video. That thing was sitting in there with a blade up. I could have put my hand in there to grab something and cut the snot out of myself. You know, that probably shouldn't have been. I probably should have stored it with the blade down up against the side edge. That way it didn't. A little bit of uh, forethinking now will prevent a wound in the future. You know, everybody always talks about safety, but nobody ever performs it. Here's a cup of sand. Um, 
gets glue sand on the bottom of my bases sometimes. Um, sprays. Um, spray cans. There's another brush. Here's some containers that had role playing dice in them. I don't know what I'll make out of it, but it's in there. There's quite a few of them in here. Paint lids. These are great for mixing stuff up. Um, I need to go do uh, a bunch of painting on some styrofoam. I can pour cheap paint in here and use it as a palette. <coughs> now, I've got palettes, but you know, you never want to throw stuff out because you can probably use it somewhere. Um, the top one here is more tools, paint brushes that I just haven't thrown away. They're worn out, most of them. But maybe I need a worn out brush for something. Uh, maybe I'm going to be doing some stippling. Um, here's some of them foam brushes. Um, you know, you keep stuff because you never know when it's going to come in handy. Here's uh, some really junk, cheap. I mean, that's aluminum, cheap. Here's some old files, some of the bigger sized ones um, that have gotten relegated to the drawer and are not out. Another screwdriver. Um, here's my carousel. This is what sits on the, um, the, the desk. Needle nose pliers. Um, here's an antenna that, it's like an antenna, but the end of it's a magnet. Um, <laughs> a pipe tool. <laughs> you'll never know what you'll find in my stuff. Uh, blades. Blades. Um, here's a good hobby tool. Toothpicks. I've actually got two canisters. Great for spreading glue into places that I don't want to just go, you know, I can spit a little bit out and use a toothpick to go into a spot. Um, here's a bad thing. But, safety first, the blade was down. Had that blade been up, that would have been a very dangerous thing. It's still dangerous to have it sitting here. But right next to it, here's one sitting up. Never do that. Always have them pointing down. That way you don't cut yourself. If you're going to break the rules, break the rules the right way. Paints. Oh my god. That's not all of them. Those are just ones I use regularly. Washout cups. Here's a cool little thing that I got um, for washing out. Plus holding my brushes. Plus I can use it as a palette. Or I can put it over so that it doesn't evaporate away. Here's more palettes. Green stuff, glues. Like I said, my workbench is is hit um, at the moment. But that's the way I work most of the time. If you work in a clean atmosphere, you'll probably need a clean atmosphere. Me, I yeah, <laughs> I clean it up every now and then. Um, in between projects. But I'm in the middle of a project, and most of the stuff that's out, I was using on the project at one point or another. I just probably haven't put it away. Is that good? No. Here's stuff that uncures um, super glue. Here's stuff that cures super glue. Um, this stuff is great. It's an accelerant. Accelerant hardens it right now, so you don't have to hold the pieces together. To hold things. Here's a good one. It's like having a vise. It's mountable, or you can just set it on the table. It tilts in different directions. I even have one that has multiple alligator clips, as well as a, as a magnifying glass, so I can hold things and see things. These kind of things are great little tools. Um, sometimes they're expensive, but if you got the money, you see it. Like I said, do you need to run out and buy all this stuff? No. All, all you need to get started, a 
hood blade, maybe a pair of these clippers, a couple brushes, needle files. That's good enough to get you started.